and welcome back to my channel. My name is Haley and today we are going to be reviewing the Jaclyn Hill palette. She collabed with Morphe and Morphe was ever so kind to send me two of them. <laughs> so, um, before anyone comments and asks, I've already promised this to my sister. As soon as it came in, I snapped to her and was like, hey, guess what you got in the mail at my house? So, um, we're going to be doing some swatches, and I'm going to be sh dabbling in and creating an eye look. I don't really know what I'm going to go for yet, so we'll just have to see. Um, when you open it up, it's wrapped really nice in bubble wrap, so it, it's packaged very well. And then, um, when I seen these, I thought they were bigger, and the first launch might have been bigger, and then they just, like, downsized, but... Unlike other Morphe palettes, this one actually has shade names, which I know you're not going to be able to really see them. But um, it does come with a card that Jacqueline is on the front with um, one of her looks, which is really pretty. And that wing is fierce, though. Um, so, yeah, I think that's really cool. And then, of course, we have the palette. Then here's the back. It took them two years to create this, so this better be as good as everybody rants and raves about. Of course, you open it up, and we have the famous little sleevey, and then you cut off the bottom. I don't even know if y'all can see that. It might be too bright. Here, there we go. So, it's silver and white. Like, this isn't really white, but it's not really silver, but the inside is definitely silver, and oh my god, this feels so nice. Um... My only problem with the Morphe palettes is there's no mirror. I don't know why, but like I really like to have a mirror on my palette, just especially with this size. I mean, like I feel like you should be able to have a mirror, but you don't. Just a little first little thing there for me. Right off the bat, I'm seeing beautiful warm tones. I mean, they're gorgeous. I see a lot of wonderful transition shades right in here. Um, some brown on highlights. I'm living for these down here. The, like when I first seen the sneak peek of the palette, I was like, oh my god. Not that I'll ever use them that much, but I mean just how freaking stunning. So there's shimmers and mattes in here. This retails for $38. If you use one uh, uh, like an affiliate code, it does save you money like Manny Anyway or Laura Lee's. Um, Jacqueline herself has one. There are 35 shades in this thing, so I'm not about to swatch them all because that would take forever. And I'm not that talented to where I can like insert a picture up here or anything. So... When I get that nifty, I will start swatching everything. But, I've heard really good reviews about this. But, of course, I had to see for myself. Because I'm learning, like with the Jouer thing, that um, some of it's hyped up more than it should be. So, of course, first swatch I'm going to do is in... Oh. My. God. That feels... Amazing. Oh my god. And I have several Morphe palettes and not another one of them feel like that. But anyway, I'm going to be dipping into, what's the name of this? Pool Party. Because she's just gorgeous. Y'all better quit playing. Do y'all see this pigment? I barely even had to touch that. Yes, ma'am. This is going to be good. Mm, I'm excited. Alright, I want to go into the blue one next. Just because it's another one of the bold out there colors. Feels exactly the same as Pool Party. This one is called... <laughs> Twerk. <laughs> Alright. Oh my gosh. These feel so freaking amazing. Those are both shimmers, so let's do a couple of mattes. Let's grab this one here, which is called... Hmm. 
Jax. We're going in with this one right here. I think you have two over middle. Yeah. So this is a mat. Oh my gosh. Y'all, Jack. Oh, y'all can't even see. <laughs> Jacqueline was not playing with these pigments. I know why it took two years to come out with this shit. Just the sorry. I'm sorry now. All right, and then we will take a dark brown. Oh my! They all feel amazing. Do y'all see this? All right, and we will take. Oh, I didn't even tell y'all the name of that one was. That one is called Chip. I really want to test the black one. Just because this would be a great palette just to take. You could take this whole thing and you can create anything. Which, I'm like, I don't even remember who said it. That I mean, I watched so many people on YouTube. But, like they said, I think every palette needs a black. Just because I use a black just about every time. Um, that one went off a little streaky, and I don't know why, because the pigment is there. I don't know. I do have a little bit of lotion on, because I'm, like, trying to tan out in the sun. So, that might be a little bit of an issue. But, anywho, I think those are some dang good swatches. And I'm living for them. Especially, like, pool party. Oh, my God. That's gorgeous. Well, I know where I'm going to start. I'm going to start with my Pro Longwear Paint Pot by MAC in Soft Ochre. Just going to take that and paint her all over my eyelids. Prime them up real good, you know. There's a glass. I need to be careful. I need to be careful. I just smooth it down in. Because I feel like what's the point of setting it when you're wanting the pigments to stick to it, so they say. I don't know. Just personal little preference there, I guess you could say. Same thing over here. Bring it all the way up there. I watch too much Michael Finch, y'all. Alright, if y'all are wondering why I'm using this this time, it's because um, I'm supposed to be wearing glasses because my contacts are jacking up and I can't see my vanity mirror all the way up there. So, my eyeshadow would literally be atrocious. So, I'm going to use my, just my cheap one. They can get up close and see stuff. Okay. So, we need a transition shade. Transition shade. We're going to go in with MFEO. I don't know what that stands for, so don't ask me. Because I for real don't know. Got to tap off that excess. And we're just going to lay down a transition shade. Ooh, me, I didn't realize me holding that up there was doing that. My bad, guys. And just swirly motions with a fluffy brush. I just go in and pack that in there. Alright. And with that same brush, because this is just what I always do. I always go in with a deeper, a little bit deeper brown. Uh, just because 9 times out of 10, browns and blacks are what I use. So we're going to go in with that um, shade called Buns. My anaconda don't want none unless you got buns, honey. Sorry. And then we're going to place that just a little bit lower. Um, always remember that you start out with the lightest shade and keep it towards the top and then bring down and blend in the darker shades because if you don't, it's going to look bad. Okay. Now 
one that is blended in together with a Y19. I'm going to dip into the shade right beside that called Crayon Apple. Just because she's literally stunning. It's a shimmer, so. It's a shimmer, so you can um, wet your brush with like a setting spray, fix plus, water, whatever you have um, to make it stick better. I want to try these first without anything, and then if it needs it, I'll go back in and add it. I'm just going to put that in the crease, not all the way, like, I'm going to pack it in over that so where it still shows, but mostly on the outer V, because that's where I want that one. Alright, and then on a Morphe M411, I'm going to dip into the shade Queen. And just dabble that on there. And I'm not, one thing I am noticing, there's not, I haven't had any fallout with this. Like, I haven't had none, which is amazing. For these to feel as creamy and buttery as they are and to not have any fallout, that's, like, shocking. So, now I'm just going to take this and place it all over where, oh, yes, ma'am, all over the lid and even bring it into the inner corner. Now I'm going to go back in with my wide 19 and just blend over that seam so it blends together. Blending, blending, blending. I'm loving this so much so far. Like I've already said, I use a black like every time just about so I'm just going to dip in lightly because I can tell this is pigmented that was two little dippity dips make sure we tap off whatever's there and that's the key with a black um I've had a few of my friends tell me I don't use black because it just turns into a black smeared mess and you always, I know I've said it before in my videos, but you really, really, really want to go in with a light hand and also barely touching the palette because most blacks are pigmented. I mean, you don't have to really try to get them to go there. And you can always add more. It's very hard to blend out and take away. So start very, very lightly. And if you just get the very, very tip of your, like you can still see where I use the other two shades. Like, I went in with my transition shade, and then just a little bit lighter, I went in with my darker shade. You can see that the black is just barely, barely on the tip of that brush. And I'm just going to swoop this in. Just to give it some depth. Because that's personally just how I like to wear my eyeshadows. Then again, on the what we're gonna take what's left on the um, Y19, and just kind of put that over the black just to blend it in a little bit better, so it's not as harsh. Not that I mind, but with a Y16, I'm going to dip into the shade Beam. And I'm just going to run that over top in the brow, just to give some color up there. 
Oh, that's really pretty. We are going to go in with um, buns on a Morphe G28 and just start smoking out that bottom lash line just because I can't not do that now. And we're going to keep it as close to the lashes as we can. Alright, now I'm going to go in with Cran Apple. Make sure it's coated good. And from the inner, where the inner corner is, I'm going to bring that down. And kind of just melt it in with buns. Again, stopping about halfway and blending it in. So you can see how it's all right, and then hover so delicately. The black shade is called Abyss, by the way. Not, it's not just a black, <laughs> um, which is what I've been calling it. I'm going to again lightly dip into the black, and on the very, very outer corner, just blend that in, just to. Seeing that all together, I want to go in with a bigger fluffy brush and work that under. Alright, and before I do any liner or anything, I'm just going to close and let you see how this came out. Alright, I'm going to take the shade Get Paid and I'm just going to run this through my waterline. Alright. So there you can tell that it's in there. Alright. And then I don't think I'm going to do any um, top eyeliner just because I've really been liking if I do a really good eyeshadow. I feel with my hooded eyes that it really... Um, a liner even though if I tight line it covers up all the hard work that I did and um, hides my eyeshadow because my eyes are so hooded so I'm just gonna go in with my lights camera lashes by Tarte and the special edition unicorn packaging and I'm just going to coat these little lashes all right so here is the finished look um, I hope you like it. Um, I'm living for it. There, the possibilities with this palette are absolutely endless. I mean, it is a beautiful range. It is an excellent price for the formula of the Jacqueline girl. I know you ain't even gonna see me, but she did good. It was well worth the two years, and it was well worth me not getting it the first round and waiting on it. So, I'm all about this palette. I can see me using it a lot over the next few months. Who knows, I might be wearing this when I bring my sweet baby into the world. I'm a huge fan. I figured I was going to be. Um, the best thing I know to compare this to is the Naked Heat Palette. Or, not just a heat palette, but the Naked Palettes in general because they are one of my favorite formulas. They blend so easy. The Huda Beauty Palette uh, Rose Gold one it is another one of my favorites. It's same, very smooth, very creamy, very pigmented. It, it's an amazing palette. And if you can get your hands on it, I highly suggest that you do because I don't know if there's going to be a restock after the August one next month. They have not released a date that I know of. Um, but I do know in August that it is coming back out again. So, I suggest you get your hands on it. Who knows, you might get lucky like I did and wind up with two. Two of them. So, that is my review. That is my thoughts. It's my feels. I'm loving it. Like this cranberry shade, though. Like, it's... Look at that. I mean... Oh, she ain't playing. This one's really shimmery. What's it called? Let's find out. Oh, my card. My card death appeared. She's called Obsessed. Ooh, good name. 
Uh, yep. Yep, obsessed. Oh, I bet you could use that as a highlighter. Oh my god, I need to stop. Okay, that is my video. That's my review. It's my thoughts. It's how I feel about it. Hope you all have a great day, night, evening, wherever you are, and I will see you in my next video. Hopefully. Bye, guys.